Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, as you know, I am in process of renovating um, Good Enough, the RV. And one of the modifications I want to do to make this bathroom more usable is to get it so that the light switch controls this light bulb right here, which isn't even fully mounted yet. But uh, it has a switch right here, which I don't know if it was supposed to be for that light bulb, but it doesn't work. So I, I don't know what it's for yet. It may be something critical, so I didn't want to replace it with this other switch and then have it not work. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new hole. And I did buy a regular 110 switch, which, you know, I, I laid out here to, you know, measure the hole. And I'm going to cut the hole out and just put this in like that. And um, I also measured the faceplate, although this isn't the final one. It's a dirty old one. But I wanted to make sure that it fit, you know, alongside like that. So it looks kind of nice. And um, as far as attaching the wires, that's going to have to be done inside, and I can't really do it inside. So what I'm going to do is probably poke a little hole through there and run the line up and along here, up into the ceiling area, out towards this connection right here, which controls that light. So that's the plan. It's going to have a little hole. It's not the prettiest thing, but... Maybe I could put the hole right by here and I just have it come up. I might do that. I might put the hole right by here on the edge and then just fish the line over. That way it can come out the side and I don't have a big hole right here with the line running over as an L. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and make a little hole right here parallel to it. Or I can even come up a little higher. It doesn't really matter. Might even come up a little higher. Make a little hole. The higher I can make the hole, the better. But I need to be able to work back here is the problem. So what I'll do is I'll make a hole and try to fish the line over that way. Or I could make a hole up there and then fish the line down. Huh. That might even be better. <laughs> then you don't have to run the line up here at all. You just go up there and then fish it down. So I'd, I'd run the, the, the wire up along here. Make a hole here and then fish it down to here. And then you, you that, I think that's going to be the best thing. That's going to be the cleanest. So we'll try that out and see what happens. Now, to cut everything out here, what I did was I went ahead and measured, you know, the, the shape bit roughly where the um, switch is, the box here with the switch. And I drew that and made it slightly bigger to accommodate the screws. And then I used a flathead screwdriver and poked a hole to start it. Then I use this little tiny hand saw to kind of just go in and saw through. So we're going to saw all that all the way through. Then we're going to go ahead and try to fish a line down here, uh, a wire, to see if we can't get this to work. Yeah, then it's our hole. Looks like we can see the wiring here from the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make a hole at the top up here on the other side and try to fish a line down like that to come out here where I can do my wiring and then I can plug the switch in. Let's go this way, this is on, off. So it'll go in like this. Yeah, it should be a pretty good fit. Then um, see if we can get this working. And if we can get it working, we'll have a switch for the, uh, the bathroom, which should make it a lot easier to use. All right, before uh, putting the hole through here and fishing it and everything, I wanted to make sure that everything would work the way I think it's supposed to work. <laughs> so what I've done is I've wired um, this line here, which you can see the wire here. It's not regular wire. It's actually um, wiring from a 110, 115 plug. I had an extra, I think this came from the rice cooker that broke. I had saved the wiring and I just cut it and used the two wires. So you can see this is um, the wire you know, the two pieces of wire from the 110, but it's okay, it should work 12 volts just fine. It's more than enough, it's wide enough to carry the, the, I guess the amps that's required. I don't even know much about electrical wiring, <laughs> which is probably not a good thing to be doing when you're doing your own wiring, but I know this works. Anyhow, um, this part right here, which I've screwed together, goes to the light. This other part right here is the live. That's the uh, the 12 volt live, so that's gonna go to this end of the second piece right here. So what we're gonna do is attach that and then test out our switch and make sure it works. So we'll see what happens. All right, I've wired in the um, 
the wiring here, even though the switch is not mounted, I'll need to, to fish the wire. I, if I thought better, I wouldn't have split the line. I didn't think so clearly. So I would have only split the ends right here because fishing two lines is a little bit more difficult than fishing one line. But, oh well. <laughs> Anyhow, if I've done it correctly, the switch should turn that light on right there. So we're gonna attempt to turn this on right here. Hopefully I don't electrocute myself. Not touching anything, right? So here we go. We're gonna try to flip this on and see if that light comes on. Well, first thing we need to do is actually make sure this light is switched on. I think I had switched it off. So there, I think it is switched on now. Of course it doesn't come on because this line is off. So now we're gonna try to uh, throw the switch right here. Let's see if we can't throw the switch and try not to electrocute myself. There we go. So you can see the switch works. So I sort of know what I'm doing. <laughs> Woo, as long as we don't set the RV on fire. So when we throw the switch now, lights on for the bathroom. That will allow you to go into the bathroom and use it, you know, without having to deal with this little portable light. And this other light is really bright. So once I get it mounted on the ceiling, and put the, the cap over it, you know, the, the, the light protector. It'd be awesome. So you can see light on, light off, on, off. So the switch works. I am so happy. We have working light. Now we just need to mount it. All right, initially I tried to make a hole up here at the top to hide it behind this um, molding. The problem is, when I drilled through there and tried to run the line, I think there's a beam up there. It would only make sense that they have a, a framework to make the room, you know. So I'd have to rip up the roof and go on the other side, which I am not gonna do. So I figure I'll drill down a little bit lower, which I did. So I'm hitting air now. And what I'm gonna do is pull this line, this, this white line here that connects right there to the power. Sorry, it's out of focus here camera's having issues because it is pitch black. It is dark. We're working at night here. Oh, I need to go to bed here in a few minutes. But I am going to run it here, run it down through there, and it's just going to come out a little bit and then stick it down through that hole and try to fish it out this side and reattach it to the switch. You'll notice I'm only doing one at a time. So the reason is I don't want to get electrocuted. <laughs> so we're just going to run one through... Um, attach it, unattach the other one, then run the second one down the hole, and hopefully everything will work, and we will have a working light switch. Well, now, that looked like a really good idea until you realize that they put supporting beams, rafters, and stuff. What happened is I made a hole, and I tried to run the line down, and I think it ran down straight, but then it didn't come up down here. So I tried to stick my finger in, I couldn't feel it. Then I decided to look up. And I don't know if you, the camera's picking it up there, but you see that beam right there, that, lo that little yellow thing? That's another beam going across. Yeah, so that's gonna block the, the thing from coming down. I can move the switch up, but then I got a hole here. And I wanted it to kind of line up. So I'm probably gonna have to just run the line over and drill a hole here. That's what's going to have to happen. But these are modifications that you make as you're building because you don't know what it looks like in underneath behind there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and take this line and run it right alongside edge here and cut over and come on over down to this, make a hole right here where my finger is. <laughs> Camera's not showing. So basically I'm just going to run along the, the edge here, come over. It's not pretty but it, it will do. All right, this is not the prettiest wiring job. <laughs> we got the wire through. This is ugly as all heck, but I am gonna uh, secure it and make it look pretty later, but at least it works for now. So we have the switch here that we can switch on and off. We got our switch. You can see the, the room is kind of dark. When I turn it on here, that light will come on. So now we have our working light switch for the bathroom. So our first improvement. Um, so now, you, you know, I don't have to use this. I don't know where it went, but the, the 12 volt lights, are, I mean, um, the battery operated lights can be saved for something else because they, they were burning through batteries because evidently I use the bathroom a lot. 
<laughs> Anyhow, that wraps it up. I'm gonna go ahead and, and put it together and just show you what it kind of looks like when it's semi-done. All right, here then is our mounted light switch. I'm gonna replace it with a newer one, but for now, a newer template, you know, faceplate. This one's kind of dirty. Um, I wanted pure white and they didn't, they had like off white only, so I didn't buy any, but the switch is mounted. I guess it's somewhat flush with this other one. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhat uh, perpendicular, maybe slightly off. Mm, it looks like it's a little bit off. I thought it was a, I kind of eyeball thing, so it's a little bit off. But anyhow, um, the switch is working. We flip the switch on, the light comes on, flip the switch off, light goes off. So we have a working bathroom light. So that's one step in the right direction. Sadly, we had to make a bunch of holes, rip all this up. Although I might end up putting another panel on here just for decoration to make it look nice. So that'll hide the wiring and stuff and it'll look pretty again. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this modification. Got a working light. So until next time, everyone, take care. And remember to keep the light on. Bye-bye <laughs> now.